Let's begin! The main aim of each level in Transpose is to place a box or a number of boxes into slots. Once all of the boxes have been placed, energy is flowed back into the main hub world, which unlocks more levels and gradually powers up an ancient machine. To move around you can both free move and teleport. You will need to teleport at times though, as it allows you to cross wide gaps or reach high platforms. The game does only have snap turning, but unlike other games, it didn't really take me out of the world too much. The game is played with two move controllers that act as your arms, and the movement is incredibly realistic. They really do react as your own. To complete each puzzle, you will be working with previous versions of yourself. All of the actions you perform after stepping off of a spawn circle will be recorded. You can then choose to keep your clone or destroy it. If you decide to keep it, you will see your previous self play out in real time. These clones can pick up the boxes too, so you have to think in advance on how all of your clones actions will combine to get the boxes to their slots. You may need to simply pass the box to another clone or throw it over a large gap. It's incredibly satisfying when you catch a box that you had thrown earlier. Playing catch with yourself is a very surreal experience. Very early on in the game, switches and sliders are introduced. These can also be used by your clones. When interacted with, they make platforms move, so timing all of your movements is a must. You really do have to picture where your future self will be. Separate slots for boxes also appear that can be used to make lasers disappear. If you or a clone touch a laser, it will kill them, but the boxes can travel safely through them. At first, it can be quite intimidating to have all these gameplay elements thrown at you, but luckily, there are some other people in the world that look in the direction you should be heading or do an action that you should perform. It certainly eases you into the process of solving each of the puzzles out for yourself. The challenge doesn't always come from new gameplay elements, as like I said before, quite a few of them are introduced quite quickly. The challenge really comes from the excellent level layouts that gradually become more complex. This doesn't necessarily mean the actual level layout will be larger. It may be smaller, but will require a lot of clones working together. The challenge also comes from only being able to use a certain number of clones. You know exactly how many can be used by looking at bands that are found on your right arm. You can get more clones by ripping out power cores from others, which does feel a bit evil, but interaction wise, feels great. Most of the stages defy gravity. If the side of a wall has a spawn circle on it, you can actually spawn there. Doing so will make that wall become your floor. It can be a bit confusing seeing the level from a different angle, especially as there isn't normally too much variation in the textures that are found on the floors and walls. The shapes of the platforms can also look very similar to each other at times, but seeing your previous clone's movement does help a lot when navigating your way around your new location. Some levels can be quite large, so they do require you to take a stroll through them and learn their layout before taking any action. When you have a lot of clones passing a box, it can take a while for them to get to your position. Luckily, there is a fast forward slider on your left arm that speeds up time. For the most part, it is fast enough, but there are certainly some levels where you're waiting for quite a while for the clones to reach you. It would have been nice if the fast forward feature was slightly faster. At some point you will make a mistake. You can take an energy core and delete the clone that you messed up with, but sometimes it is easier just to reset the whole level. Doing so brings up the title of the level again. It doesn't last for too long, but having to sit through the text again can be slightly annoying. As well as physically slotting in the boxes, you can actually throw them and they will connect. This actually allows some of the puzzles to be solved in multiple ways. It can feel a little like cheating, but when you get stuck on a level because you really can't figure out where to position each of your clones on each floor, it is a welcome addition. Your aiming does have to be spot on for this to happen though, so there is still a sense of reward when your throw has been perfect. Because you will be throwing for boxes a lot, it really is best to stand while playing this game. But the game is still completable from a seated position. The game includes over 30 puzzles spread across three worlds. Each world has a distinct style, but the background textures are a bit low quality and look a bit stretched. But honestly, you won't notice them that much, as you will be focusing on the level layouts. It took me around 8.5 hours to solve all of the puzzles apart from one, which is the final level. It really is quite complex and it will really test your memory. Unfortunately, whilst I was making this review, 
the game's trophies were not visible online, so I will leave a comment under this video when I know more about them. Before starting the game, I really didn't expect to have as much fun as what I did. It really is an amazing puzzle game that tests your spatial awareness, memory, and even your throwing and catching skills. It does sound like a bit of an odd mix, but it does all combine so very well. You get such a good sense of accomplishment after slamming in the final box at the end of an especially tricky level. Instead of feeling relieved that it was over, I actually couldn't wait to see the layout of the next level, and at times, I did get quite addicted to it. We have seen cloning puzzle mechanics in games before, but experiencing it in VR makes it feel brand new, especially as it feels like you're physically interacting with yourself. There is a lot of trial and error in this game, and you will need some patience in a few of the levels, but if you are a puzzle game fan, then you simply must check out this game. Playing with yourself has never felt this good. This truly is a very well thought out and challenging puzzle game, and is one that shouldn't be missed if you like testing your brain. If you want to see some gameplay, there is a video on screen right now. As always, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more PlayStation VR content.